Hi everyone, I am here again to do another Gemini reading for all signs, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also cross watchers as well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're all doing good, feeling good during this time. Thank you for tuning in. I salute the divinity in you. You guys are wonderful, thank you. So, let's see what spirit wants you to know today. So the message is to outline the reading. We got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we got playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And we got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Right, so, so that's the messages. Let's get the tarot, tap into the energies surrounding your situation this week. Is there a free card spread? Let's see the current situation, obstacle, advice. Right. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Pentacles and the Tower, Scorpio and Aries energy in reverse. So let's clarify, take a bit deeper. We've got Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We've got Seven of Pentacles and Sun, Leo energy. So let's clarify again and dig even deeper. Page of Wands. The world in reverse and nine of swords. Right. Okay, so. <clears throat> Yeah, if you're single, I feel like this is for all the single people right now. I can see here that um, you do have love here. You do have love and a new beginning. Yeah, you do have a new beginning with someone. So what I could see, yeah, you you are on your spiritual path. You've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So uh, because you're on your spiritual path right now, I feel like, you know, you have ascended, you know, spiritually, spiritual growth. And enlightenment here, so uh, you are in your divine feminine energy right about now, and you are vibrating on a very high vibration. Because, and this is why, for some of you, your love life may be a bit <laughs> boring, might as well say, it might be a bit boring. Because, not to say as if you can't meet anyone, divine feminine is very highly desired, highly desirable. You know, you do have a lot of admirers. However, because you have ascended, a lot of these admirers uh, that are attracted to you, they may still operate on a low vibration. Yeah. You may attract a lot of people that um, they, they haven't ascended. They, they're not on a high vibration as you. They still operate on a low vibration. So... It's hard for you to connect with people these days, you know, for some of you, I'm getting that. Not to say as if you can't meet anyone, you do get admirers, but it's just hard for you to connect with them and anything to come out of the situation because these people are not on your level. Spiritually, you know, emotionally, spiritually, they're not on your level because you've ascended now, you know, and uh, because of that, you're highly protected as well. You're on your spiritual path. So your spiritual, your spirit guides and ancestors is, is uh, protecting you really heavily during this time. They are protecting your light, your, your energy and your vibration. So it is hard for these uh, low vibrational people to really enter your, your kingdom, 
or queendom, you know. During this time, I mean, only those that's, uh, you know, operating on this uh, high vibration is you can really enter. You can only connect with people that's like-minded, people that's operating on a high vibration as you, spiritually and emotionally. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Not going to work. Um, however, I can see here that spirit does have someone for you. You have got a spiritual connection. You do have a spiritual connection with someone that um, you can grow with, you know, because clearly you're on your spiritual path and uh, you can only connect with someone that is on their spiritual path as well. And I can see here that there is someone that is on their spiritual path, just like you. You may have even inspired this person to be on their spiritual path because of you, you know. You influence this person, you know, the love that this person has for you. You may have influenced them because their love life is influenced by their spiritual path now and they're ascending. I could see someone ascending here. This is someone that's actually uh, doing the inner work. They are doing the inner work on themselves. And that's helping them to ascend spiritually, you know. I can see spiritual growth here. Spiritual and emotional growth. Because this is someone that's actually releasing karmic situations. You know, they're releasing people and situations that no longer serve them. Yeah, we've got to release your ex. Yeah, the time has come to clear your energy. So this is someone that is actually doing the work. That's what I'm saying. Spirit has someone for you here. This is a spiritual connection and they are actually doing the inner work like you are. They are ascending. This person has awakened. They're becoming more awakened here. Yeah, the sun energy. We've got temperance. Yeah, because they are being guided here to release these situations, to clear their energy. And... Uh, They're following the guidance. This person is really connected to intuition and to uh, this uh, spiritual this spiritual path. They're really connected here and they're, they're being guided and they're following. They're listening and following the guidance here, temperance. So, and it's actually bringing, bringing them peace. It's bringing them peace in their life by letting go of this karmic situation here. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's actually bringing peace and balance in their life now. Yeah. We've got the tower. I feel like it's keeping this person stuck. This karmic situation, we've got the world in reverse. This karmic situation is keeping this person stuck. And uh, probably keeping this uh, connection between you and them stuck as well. Keeping it stagnant here. Slowing down the the flow. It looks like. So this is why they are being guided. This person is being guided to release it. Let it go completely. Walk away. I can see this is someone walking away. And starting a new beginning. We've got Page of Pentacles. We've got the Sun. I mean, the sun is the best card in tarot right about now. <laughs> that indicates happiness, joy, freedom. It indicates freedom. Someone's free here. They feel liberated, feeling good, and the future looks bright. <laughs> the future looks so bright right now for this person. Oh, my God. They have cleared the rain, and now the sun is here. They have cleared their energy and they just feel so free. It's like this person was carrying a dead weight. They feel free now. They've released it. So they're doing the inner work. I feel like spirit wants you to um hang in there because they have they have someone for you. It looks like they got a mass. This is a masculine energy here that is actually doing the inner work, yeah, and following the guidance that they are guided to take. They're coming off one path and they've been guided to jump on, you know, a spiritual path here. And they are 
doing it and it's and it's and it's bringing you and this person together it is bringing you guys together this is reconciliation energy between two soulmates temperance yin and yang you know you guys probably twin flames yeah it is bringing you guys together they are ascending spiritually wow and it's bringing them so much abundance we've got the sun here um you can't get better than that it's bringing you both abundance you guys are going to be happy this is going to bring in happiness here oh that's beautiful wow yeah they say spirit says worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life some of you know this as well you know some of you is very patient you're very patient here because you know what you work, what you're worth, and you know that your spirit guides and the universe has got your back, hundred percent. So you know, it's a matter of time. It is a matter of time before, until you get the love that you deserve. Yeah, seven of pentacles. This is very, you. Some of you've been very patient here, and this indicates your patience is being rewarded. Your patience is being rewarded here. There is blessings coming in. There is blessings coming in here. Definitely. All the hard work, energy, time and that you put into yourself is going to be rewarded here. Definitely. This is your dreams and manifestations coming into fruition. This is why we've got the sun. I can see here that this person, this masculine energy that is ascending, they're really invested in you. I feel like they're coming in and uh, they actually want to nurture this connection with you and, uh, you know, work on growth. They want growth between you and them. This is someone I feel like they want long term with you. This is someone that wants long term with you. I feel like this is someone that has been watching you for a while. Yeah, you guys have been connected for a very long time and they've always been like in the background. They spend a lot of time invested. They invest a lot of time watching you. Studying you, watching your growth. They really admire you. And uh, I feel like the more they watch you, the, the, the more they fall in love. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like this love is just growing, you know. It's like ever since they laid eyes in you, like, it just grows and grows and grows. Seven of Pentacles, this could be like seven months, seven weeks, seven years for some of you. Seven years plus, I'm hearing. Could be even longer than that for some of you. But it's like their love grows. It just doesn't. It doesn't end. Their love for you just doesn't grow old. It just grows into something. It just blossom. It's blossoming right now. It's coming to the surface. Their feelings for you just come to the surface now, and it's come to that point where they have to express it. They can't hold it in no more. It's sprouted out. <laughs> they are gonna reach out to you, and all their feelings is just gonna come out. We've got two pages here: page of wands and page of pentacles. Yeah, messages of love and passions. Yeah, this person wants to see you and take you out on a date. Yeah, they're very passionate towards you. Their love is sprouting. They have watered this love for you. I mean, yeah. In order for this seed to sprout, it takes water. And this person has put... A lot of emotions, they are really emotionally attached to you. Yeah, they love you so much. There's a lot of emotions here. To what to make this grow, this seed it had to be watered and this person watered the hell out of it. <laughs> Their emotions just grow and grow and grow. Strong emotional attachment here. They this person loves you. So now that it's sprouting, what this what this person needs now is the sun. Here we go. For it to grow into, you know, a, a, a something, 
a, a strong tree, you know, or a plant or whatever it is that's growing. Palm tree, I'm hearing. Yeah, something that's solid and stable. Something that will be secure. Something permanent. They want this to grow. They, they want the seed to grow. So they need the sun and that's you. You are the sun in this person's eyes. Oh, that is so beautiful. You're their son. Yeah, this is why they need you. They need you right about now. I feel, I don't know, I feel I feel like this person really needs you. You're their son. See, they need your light now to, you know, make this seed actually grow to something strong and stable. Long term. Otherwise, it would just die. You won't make it without you, without your energy. Oh. Oh. This is why they're stressed. They're stressed. They're worried about it. They're worried about it. We got finances. And career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I feel like this person, they may be going through financial struggles, it looks like. And then this is what they're working on as well during this time. They may feel like they don't have enough during this time to really, you know, be enough for you. I don't know, it's a big worry for this person here. They're stressed. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, they know. Tower in reverse. It could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries here. But they know that they're going to have to, uh, yeah, come in here and uh, work on this connection with you. I mean, they want to, but I feel like they fear rejection. I feel like they, they fear getting hurt. So I get that there's not much... There's not strong connect communication here between you and this person. They seems because they seem to be stressed. It's like they don't know something. There's a lack of clarity here, so they don't know. Maybe they don't know how you feel. They're worried that you might not feel the same as them. They seem to be worried here, or they're worried that they're not enough. They don't have enough. They're worried that they don't have enough. It's something keeping this person stuck. You know, this karmic situation they, they're, they're releasing, whoever they're releasing, this ex they're releasing, may be giving them a hard time. It looks like it's, they're going through, you know, a stressful time right now, releasing this karmic energy and stress. It's, it's probably affecting their finances. Yeah. It's, uh, they're going through financial struggles from releasing this ex. I'm hearing money hungry. Yeah, their ex is money hungry and spiteful. Yeah, but they are working on their career right now, finances and career. I mean, with the page of pentacles and seven of pentacles, it does indicate like financial um, circumstances improving, you know, like whatever this person is planning on investing in. I feel like they're planning on... um. A new business, starting a new business. There's something they're working on financially here. And it looks like, you know, it it, it will lead to um, success. It looks like it will lead to success. There's something this person is starting here. And it's going to lead to success, I feel. It's going to lead to success once they completely let go of this karmic energy. Yeah then, yeah, all the goodness will start coming in, you know? All the, all the um, happiness and joy and prosperity and success is, is going to come in. Because they've got space now. They've cleared the energy. Now there's space, you know? This karmic energy that they're attached to is really blocking this person's blessings right about now. But they know it, though. They're awakened to it. 
And this is why they're, they're letting it go. They're releasing it. But it's just a karmic. It's just not taking it well, it looks like. Probably trying to be spiteful and take them for everything they got financially. It looks like. Holding them up. Yeah, world in reverse. Hold, tried to hold this person up, but... You know what? It's not stopping this person. It's not. It's not stopping this person. They're still going ahead for this new beginning. They want this sun because their feelings and their love for you has sprouted now. Now it needs sun for it to grow. Otherwise, it's just going to die. You know. It needs that sun, and this karmic is not. It's not providing the sun. Clearly, it's providing bare misery. Yeah, and it's it's the weed. It's. it's <laughs> It's like a weed killer. I don't know. I just heard that weed killer. I don't know. Oh. And this beautiful plant wants to grow here. And this karmic is just, you know, stomp on it, stomping on it. Oh. Wicked. Wicked and bad mind. Yeah, they're trying to sabotage. I feel like this karmic that they're releasing, they're trying to sabotage this person's happiness here. Wow. But if this person continues to do the right thing, yeah, and honour their feelings, their love and their intuition and follow the, the path that they're guided to take here, yeah, then they'll be protected and they are being rewarded here. It looks like they're being rewarded. They're getting blessings because wherever they have invested in, you know, time, energy, money, Emotions, whatever they have invested in, it is coming into fruition and they are being blessed. And, you know, it will bring in so much abundance here. Flipping out. That's beautiful. Oh, so what we got? We got boats. It says, see, yeah, receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on. Yeah. Closure issues. Yeah, there's issues closing out that karmic cycle. Definitely issues closing out that karmic cycle. I'm telling you. Stressing this person out. This person feels stressed for some reason. Whoever they're dealing with is not taking it well. But this person's moving on and and that's that. They are progressing. And they are receiving what they need to progress as well, it looks like. Yeah, leave it all behind. So we've got healing. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship, yeah, or addiction, I'm telling you, it's a lot, it is a lot, stress, stressful, they're healing, they're getting over it, it was toxic, but uh, it's, it's lessons, I mean, it's life lessons, isn't it, and it, whatever they went through, it's helped them learn, you know, and it's helped them to decide and know what they want now moving forward. You know, they're, they're able to make better plans for their life now, you know, and for themselves. Yeah, what else? We've got coffee cup. Yeah, meeting and conversing. Savouring the moment, feeling uplifted. Friendship. Oh, you guys. Yeah, page of pentacles, page of wands. They want to see you, so I'm saying. They want to see you inject some fun back into this connection with you here. They want to, uh, you know, revitalise things, yeah. Because it leads me to playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, I feel like this person, they at least want to work on the friendship with you, at least. This person really wants to talk to you. And have you back in their life, you know, at least be friends and be playful with each other. Yeah, I really feel like this person, you you, you make them feel like a kid again. I mean, I love their happy, <laughs> you know, this person really feels young at heart when they're around you. And vice versa as well, I feel. I feel like this is the type of person, this is the type of connection that really makes you feel like giddy inside, feel, make you feel like a kid. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and we've got mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. Yeah, definitely. I feel like this is a twin flame connection here. Because this person 
is mirroring you. Spiritually, they are ascending here. This is what I'm saying. You guys are twin flames. So, good luck, guys. <laughs>